Hey, this is Sam from Pure. In this multi-part tutorial, we'll talk about equipment profiles, or the profiles that enable wireless workbench to coordinate frequencies for effectively any fixed frequency systems. If you've used the coordination features in wireless workbench, you may have noticed that you can calculate compatible frequencies for a number of wireless systems, including systems from Sure as well as systems from third parties. How is this possible? You know, Sure obviously builds in profiles into wireless workbench that correspond to all of the Sure hardware devices that we make uh, because we know how our hardware works and we build the software ourselves. Um, but how are we able to include profiles that define how third party systems work? Well, I want to explain uh, the notion of equipment profiles, which is basically a set of parameters that make this possible. Now, in the frequency coordination tab of Wireless Workbench, I've got some systems loaded. You know, this is a Sure system, but these other systems, this is from uh, Radioactive Designs, and this is a Sennheiser system. Uh, the calculator in Wireless Workbench is able to coordinate frequencies for all of these types of wireless systems, uh, effectively uh, not caring at all about which manufacturer they're from. And that's because each of the systems in Wireless Workbench have what we call equipment profiles. Uh, let me show you what I mean. In the Tools menu, I'll open the Equipment Profiles dialog. And this is a dialog where you can inspect and edit the equipment profiles that are defined within Wireless Workbench. So this top selector here shows Manufacturer, Model, and Band selections. And if I, I'll just pick UHFR so we can see these parameters really quickly. But when you make a selection across all these three things, this bottom section uh, wakes up and shows us details about that system. Profile details tells us what the system is called. The tuning tab shows us where the system tunes in the spectrum. And this third tab, filtering and intermods, gives us some parameters, three sets of parameters, in fact, that define, uh, you can think of it like how much personal space frequencies of this type need in the spectrum to be considered compatible. Uh, now, I don't want to get into the specifics of what each of these uh, types of parameters means. We'll save that for another video. But effectively, you should consider it like this. Each one of these parameters gives some information to the calculator saying, hey, when you coordinate frequencies for systems of this type, you need to make sure that, for example, channel spacing um, in the standard profile, at least 325 kilohertz of space is left around any frequency of UHFRG1 uh, for, from any other channel, from any other center frequency of another system. Uh, and then the same can be configured for intermodulation products. Distances, these are basically distances from a frequency of this type from other channels or from other two-tone third-order intermods and so on and so forth. Now, Wireless Workbench comes out of the box with a lot of these profiles already predefined for Sure systems and for other third-party systems. In future videos, we'll talk about how you can create your own custom profiles if you uh, care to coordinate frequencies for a wireless system that isn't included in our database. But, you know, just to review for a second, why is it so important to have third-party profiles or, or equipment profiles from a bunch of different devices all within a Sure piece of software? Well, our, our thought was, you know, in the real world uh, where you're going to be using Sure systems and other systems or uh, other people around you are using wireless systems from a variety of different manufacturers, you're only uh, able to get a really solid coordination, a, a frequency coordination that is compatible and, and robust and complete if you can take into consideration all of the different wireless systems that are going to be there. And so enable, in order to enable that, we've uh, baked in these third-party systems so that you can coordinate frequencies straight away for the uh, systems that are uh, likely to be found in the field. So, you know, I just want to prove to you that all this works. So I've added some systems from Sure, from uh, RAD, and from Sennheiser. And, uh, you know, as you, you probably would have expected if you used Wireless Workbench before, now I've got the automatic ca calculate backup frequency zone. That's why I'm seeing so many frequencies here. But if I zoom out, you'll see I found frequencies for each of these types of systems. Um, and the calculator effectively doesn't care what type of, uh, of system is in here, as long as it has all of the spacing parameters and all of the, the details necessary in, the, in that equipment profile um, to know how the system behaves, the calculator is happy to calculate frequencies for that type of system. So I want to pause here uh, because there are a lot of deeper topics we'll cover in future tutorial videos. So I, I hope this was helpful. If you've got any further questions about equipment profiles, how to configure them, what they mean, uh, stay tuned for more videos or leave us a comment down below. Thanks.